Today we're going to be tying with the Sabre 7010 dry fly hook, size 14. I do have some nice white CDC that Mark gave me. Um, and the other important ingredient for this fly, actually the only other ingredient other than thread, is pre-stripped quills. Um, this is what we use for the tail and this is what we use for the segmented quill body on this fly. You can, if you want to turn this fly into a sulfur dun, you can add some yellow dubbing to the abdomen, upper abdomen of this fly and it will work great as a sulfur dun earlier in the season. Um, and this is what I, I use for that as well. So let's get right into it. Now I'm going to take my quill and I'm going to strip off um, five or six of these fibers. See these little guys? This is what we're going to use for our tail. Um, you could use ultra fibbits or something else for a tail material. And the white fly has a pretty long tail, so I go. Um, one and a half times the hook shank length. Wrap that on with a couple wraps. Pull it up to the top if you need to. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to strip the rest of this off right up to about the last half inch or so of quill and um, I'm just gonna lay all that right down here on the hook wrap it in with my thread and we're gonna Cut away that access material. Now what we'll do is lock off our thread. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this under here and I'm going to lift up this tail. Get that quill right under there, and that'll help us stand up the tail really nice. Get that tail where we want it. Then we'll start working it up. I'll lock it off and cut it off. <clears throat> now I'm just going to use a little Sally Hansen's. Coat that body. You could use UV too. I mean, you could use a, a um, UV cure, which is what I would normally use, but I can't find my light right now for the life of me. 
Okay, so now I'll take my CDC, which I have prepared, set it on the hook shank. Two wraps, pull it tight, lift. Now you're going to pull this back. Wrap around the back side now. Just getting that to stand up real nice. And right now is where you would add some dubbing if you wanted to make this into a sulfur. Just give it a couple of wraps around like this. Like almost as if you were making a parachute post. Come forward. Build the head of the fly. Finish off the head. Snip it. Now you can just trim a little here. Curb scissors work really well for this. I'm using straight. Okay, there you have it. This is a great floating fly. To finish it off, the white fly has a nice black head, so just hit the head with your marker. And there you have it. The CDC white fly. Okay, so there you have it. The CDC West Canada Creek white fly. It's a great fly. It'll fish well for you, and it's a fun tie. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I was using this awesome bobbin from Mark Pettijon in this video. I've been tying with this here for a few weeks now. And I've really liked it, kind of learning to, to love a lot about it. Um, the reason I'm telling you about it is because I am going to be doing a bobbin shootout. I've got about eight different bobbins that are going to be in that. I was just trying to grab another one. Uh, this is one of them, the loon bobbin, a bunch more that aren't right here at the desk right now. But I've been tying with them and testing them. And so that's going to be coming up here on the channel in the next, mm, I don't know, month or so, I think. And uh, it'll be pretty cool. We'll see who comes out on top. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions or ideas or anything at all. And fish more, catch more. We'll see you later.